under arrest. 831, send us more. Stop. Hey, stop. She's Get not, back now. She's not complying. Okay, send it. Roll onto your stomach. Support us by subscribing, liking, and sharing the video on the YouTube channel, U.S. Corrupt Cops. The video highlights the unjust arrest of a black student by incompetent cops simply for riding a bike. Spread the message of justice and stand against the irresponsible actions of corrupt law enforcement. Collaborate with us to make a change in the world. Genesis Hansen, an African-American student at Oregon State University, was stopped by senior trooper Kelly Katsikas for allegedly riding her bike on the wrong side of a residential street near campus. Initially, trooper Katsikas planned to give her a verbal warning but he asked for her identification. Genesis, aware of her rights, questioned the trooper and asked him to show the statute supporting his request. The situation escalated from there. I'd love to give me information. I'd be more than happy to read it, and then we could go through the politely, like you mentioned. We are going through it politely, but you're not complying with a lawful order. No, I think I just asked for you to provide me information on that order, and you haven't provided me information, and you're taking that as me, not following. All I'm asking is for you to maybe pull up the website or show me the legislation that says that I have to provide my information in this case. Okay. 2424, can you get a CPD unit to roll by my location? Uh, Jackson, I think I'm on 16th or 17th. 2424, they can come code one. This is not an emergency situation. All you guys that are recording, I'm also recording, just so you know. Okay. Do you know how long it'll take for a unit to come by? I don't know. I just asked for one you heard. No, I know, but did they do give an ETA or do you have an estimate? They haven't given me an ETA, no. Nope. You don't have an idea of how quick it takes for your team to respond to things like this? Nope. I already told you, you could be rolling down the road by now if you were cooperative. I am cooperative. I think you, I'm just asking for information. You're not cooperative, but I don't think it's uncooperative to ask for information. Well, so the violation that I stopped you for is 811-307, failure to drive within the lane. So that's the first part. Well, I think that the I, reason that we're disagreeing is because you have me failing to be in a lane, yeah. but I don't see any lines on this road to begin with. Okay. Second of all, I don't think that I was in this quadrant yeah, of the road that you're claiming that I was. I, so I, I think understand. that's why we have a disagreement on what the rule is okay. and why I have to provide you information. All right. But I would love to read more if you... I'm working on it. In this incident, a police officer pulled over Hansen, suspecting she was not staying in her lane. However, According to Oregon law, for this violation to occur, the road must be clearly marked, which was not the case where the incident took place. If Hansen had indeed been riding her bike on the left side of the road, she could have been charged with a different offense, but the officers couldn't specify that law. When Hansen asked the police to cite the law requiring her to show her ID and they couldn't, the officer decided to issue a citation instead of a mere verbal warning as initially intended. Hello. I'm well. So I'm out with this citizen on a bicycle stop, but I don't know the citizen's name to tell you because the citizen won't tell me their name. Okay. Uh, I stopped them for a simple violation riding the wrong way on the roadway. As you can see, we've attracted a small crowd, so uh, it's not really contentious, but the person's refusing to identify themselves. Okay. Uh, I don't know if they even have ID because they, every question that I ask, we go in a circular arg argument wherein they state I don't answer questions. So okay. it's, a, it's a minor stop to start with, but it's where we're at. And I'm recording, so you know, as is half of the... Okay. So she's they, refusing to identify herself for the Henry... Like in regards to stop? Yes. Okay. But not driving a vehicle, so... I think that there's some alternative facts that you do need to be aware of. Um, he mentioned that I was staying on this side of the road and made the assumption that this middle line of the precinct was the marker of the road. I also mentioned that there weren't any lines on the road, um, so I don't think... I think that this is kind of an arbitrary marker. The second thing that I think is important to note is that when I did come on down this road, I will admit, you know, uh, crossing the street, you have to pass this part of the road. Um, but for him to say that I was on this side of the road versus that one, I don't think that that's quite fair. And I think that he's coming up with these facts to um, assist his story in the way that his perspective is aligned. Okay. I appreciate that. You do understand this isn't in a courtroom, though, correct? No, I do. Okay. But I do think it's important for me to articulate my position in the situation. Okay. Yeah. Would you be more willing to talk to me than him since I'm here now? Um, I think that I'm, I've been as verbal as I am in this morning. So, earlier she did request a, another officer, and she would she did say she would talk to them. I knew that was a ruse. I didn't summon you so that that would happen, because I knew she wouldn't do that. I summoned you kind of to be a witness to this whole well, I think circus. The reason, the reason I asked for an alter, a different officer was because 
I asked for him. Ma'am, would you, would you mind talking over here so we don't, of course, we, yeah. we stay out of traffic? So I was actually asking for him to show me, provide information stating that I had to give my information over on this stuff. Um, I also think that the quantifiers for this, what a traffic stop is, I'd like to be able to see that legislation and what kind of ruling it is that says, oh, I'm on this side of the road, that side of the road, if there's differences between lines on the road or if this center line that he seems is important is important in this case. And I also would like to know, um, do I have to provide my information? And I would like to see that in writing as well. Okay, so, so you, you do, and he affects an awful stuff, and you have to provide all this So he came hold here to tell a time in which he yeah, does identify you, okay? Uh, depending on how things go and the facts of the articulable case in this, in this matter, you know, it can lead into an arrest, it could be a violation or it could be a verbal warning. I don't know. I'm not the stopping officer. Right. And, and I suggested and have already had this conversation a little okay. bit. I said that most likely I'm stopping her with the uh, intent to educate about why it would be dangerous to ride down the opposite side of the roadway. And that if she failed to comply, I could arrest her for obstructing a uh, police officer, uh, obstructing Is governmental it justice. Is for you to know my information in order to educate me on the law? What effect can I stop this? Yes, it is. It's required. It's required of you, and it's required of me by my my, my um, boss. Do you have something that I can confirm that it's required, other than just so, saying so? Yes, I do, but you see, the problem is I have my cell phone, I don't have my, my law book, and I don't have the department's policies, rules, and procedures. We don't carry that with us. It's, it's computerized, and you, if you received a citation or were arrested, your defense attorney or you yourself, if you're representing yourself, through discovery could request all of that information to support your case and disprove what I, the prosecuting officer, would be alleging. However, it is customary in our society that when a police officer who's clearly identified as such tells you to pull over for a violation, you go along with the program. That is the requirement. You, you, you are lawfully required to pro provide identification and then the officer gets to decide whether you get a warning, a ticket, or you get arrested if you've committed a crime. So it seems to me that there's a few issues here. So it seems to me you want to hold me to a law that you can't prove or show me. You don't know that I can't prove that. Uh, okay, so you, I am all I'm asking is for your law book. You said you don't have it with you. So how can I even know that what you're telling me is the truth? I, oh, I showed you the law. Please let me finish what I have to say, sir. On, okay. Please let me finish what I have to say. Go ahead. You have to understand, people who look like me are often What do you look like? I, you keep saying that. I don't understand what you look like. How do you look any different from me? Okay, well, I'm an African-American mixed woman. Um, okay. I am a petite figure. So I will say that men who are in a police uniform often abuse their power and the rules that they have. All I am asking is for you to show me the rule okay. of, of this violation that I have. Did, I don't. All I have right now for verbal confirmation okay. is for your friend or your colleague and you telling me what the rules are. All well, I'm asking you know, for you know, is... We don't even know each other. I've never met this man well, before. From, I'm sorry. From a civilian standpoint, you two are colleagues. Okay. So, and he's the one that rolled up to help with the situation. Because like, you so asked me to call someone, and I called someone. Um, but in any case, I am just asking for some information um, before I provide my own. I want to see legislation or some rule book saying that I have to give my information. Yeah. It's not that I'm not being compliant, and it's not that I'm, um, you know, not respecting authority, which, you know, I don't. But um, yes, I think you're that not being it's compliant, important you're being for you passive to... Resistance. I don't think this is passive resistance. All I'm asking is for you to provide me information, and you're going to do so. So I don't feel like I have to provide my information. He does not have to show that either. So if he is, he's doing it out of courtesy just to be calm. I don't think that your job should have any courtesy. I think kindness should be the the principle of your job. I don't think courtesy should be an option. Well, I have been courteous. As you should be. Okay. So we don't need to argue about that because I have been courteous. I'm now looking at the vehicle code. I'll give you the applicable law. Does it apply to vehicles or does it apply to bicycles? So Oregon defines bicycles as a vehicle. Okay. Most states do. So do I need a license to be riding this bicycle? You do not. But they still, in law, define it as a vehicle when it's ridden on the roadway, which it was. Okay. And that means you have to apply by the vehicle laws, which you were not. And that's why I stopped you. I don't arbitrarily stop people. I think that the reason that you're saying that the rule is what I was violating, but you and I have a difference of even violating the rule. I'm arguing... Right. And that's why we have court. Like, like the other officer suggested, that's why we have court. So if at the end of this I gave you a citation and you felt that was wrongfully issued... 
th I don't get the final you say. Don't need my information to yeah. give me a warning. I, you could just say, hey, well, listen. Well, I, I don't really want to give you a warning any longer. I feel like you're you're. I no longer to wish to give you a warning. My information. And I wish to give you a citation now. Are you hearing what I'm what I'm saying? I now wish. So that I can't hear what you're saying. All right. Verbalizing and you're trying to talk under me. I wasn't finished my, with my sentence. Okay. You're trying to underscore what I'm saying. So no, I didn't hear what you're saying. Please repeat yourself. I no longer wish to give you a warning. So now I need your identification to give you a citation because that's what I intend to do. I don't feel comfortable giving you my information. I understand that. There will be consequences if you make that choice. And do you have ruling or anything that will show me those consequences other than your verbal affirmations? Yeah. Well, can I please see those? It's harder for me to do on my phone. Do you have the little pocketbook? Yeah. I've got traffic and criminal. Which one would you like? Both, actually. Okay. It's traffic. Perfect. Criminal. Thank you. I guess I need to throw these in my bike bag next time I go on bike patrol. Well, it would be good to have all your materials for your job. That's true. I'm going to grab my water bottle. Don't be worried. Yeah, so the first law that I'll draw your attention to, this is a, a violation law, but it's 811-295, failure to drive on right. I'm familiar. I understand that this is a law. Oh. I don't. I, that's not what I'm contesting. I'm just asking... Um, you want to know how I have the authority to ask you for your information? How you have the authority to ask for my information and how you can dignify me being on this side of the road versus what, that side of the road. Why do you say dignify? Because that's not... I, not dignify. I mean more... Um, what is the difference? Be, like, how can you tell that I was on this side of the road versus that side of the road? My visual observations. Footage? My visual observations. And the court has so, upheld that officer's visual observations... This is what I'm though. You're, you're making your observations where it's based on this median in this road. Yes. But this isn't a line in the road. It I is a line in the road. It's a physical line. It's a line in the road, but I don't recognize this as the median. So okay, you're trying well, to say that this is... Ma'am, I can't, I can't what fix all of your... your uh, belief systems i mean my belief systems i'm yeah. just articulating the situation to you no you're articulating your interpretation which is nonsensical that's clearly the middle of the road as uh well, the middle of the road this whole slab and this slab are about equal uh, equal um length and there's a whole this, extra section here the this middle is, of the road is right here no it's not ma'am please i can see down the whole road right in the middle all right please go stand back so on the i curb. think that this is what i'm trying to articulate yeah. You have I a defense of me being on the side of the road. Okay. There aren't lines here. I understand what I you're saying. I believe, in my own experience as a yeah. citizen, and I understand as what a you're saying. person in this situation, I was on, as you mentioned, the right side of the road. Okay. The right side of this line okay. of your marking I, I understand what you're saying. So that's what I'm trying to articulate to you. Okay. Hansen, who appeared to be well-versed in Oregon's laws, insisted that the police officers provide her with the specific law that justified their request for identification. In Oregon, individuals are not required by law to provide identification upon request from law enforcement, as stated by the state's American Civil Liberties Union. However, the situation becomes complicated due to Oregon's laws. While it's not illegal to refuse to provide identification, officers have the authority to detain individuals during traffic stops until their identity is confirmed, as outlined in Section 810.410 of the Oregon Revised Code. The argument between Hansen and the officers escalated when the officers alleged that her refusal to identify herself amounted to passive resistance. I was thinking it highlighted. It's interfering, right? Mm -hmm. Ultimately. Yes. Yeah. I don't believe it's wrong so for me to ask. Let me you let me tell you the statute that's going to lead to your arrest if you don't comply, okay? You're going to arrest me for asking for information? I'm going to arrest you for failing to comply if you don't. So how am I failing to comply if I'm just asking for information? Hold on, no, sir? you've asked me to tell you how I can do this, so I'm going to do that. Do you want to hear or not? I would love to hear, yes. Okay. That's the whole point of me standing here. Okay, great. So let's let's do that. It's called interfering. Going to give you the definition of it. Three different laws: it's going to be failure to provide info in connection with the stop, failure to provide info in connection with the arrest warrant, and interfering. Okay. But you're not understanding the principle of the situation. The uh, principle I of the because he told you he was going to give you a citation. Now no, initially he mentioned that he was going to give a warning, and when I asked for information, but because you wouldn't when comply, I asked, can I please finish my sentence? Yeah, go ahead. When I asked for information stating why do you need my information in order to give me a warning, you mentioned that. That was the rule and that was the law and i asked you to provide me that rule and that law mm -hmm. and you're still looking to do so so all i'm doing is asking why do i have to give you my information right in this I'm, moment i'm trying to tell you that you're only trying to give me a warning in the first place i'm not trying to give you a warning any longer i've clarified that your you lack of cooperation <laughs> your lack of cooperation has made it clear to me that a warning will not, not suffice to change your behavior can you call it can you define what not cooperation is he said it best passive resistance which so is what, what you're about, giving so can you define passive resistance for me a little bit better 
What you're doing is the dictionary definition. So passive resistance is me articulating my... No, it's arguing with me when I've, out, I've given you a lawful order and you've refused to comply with it. I don't believe that I'm trying to refuse you, sir. I'm just asking for if you If you were refusing me, I would already have your ID. You'd already be down the road. I think that refusal mm -hmm. and submission are different. A person commits the crime of interfering with a peace officer or parole probation officer if the person knowing that another person is a peace officer or parole officer, as defined in ORS, intentionally acts in a manner that prevents or attempts to prevent a peace officer or parole officer from performing the lawful duties of the office with regards to another person. You are the one that are preventing yourself. You don't even have these books in your bag. I am not the one preventing you. You are the preventing Refuses yourself. I am asking you for information. You are preventing yourself from having success in so, the situation by not being able basically to Basically at that point. In the 2017 case of Oregon versus McNally, the Oregon Supreme Court clearly defined passive resistance as non-compliance with a police officer's lawful order without the use of violence or active measures. In Hansen's arrest, despite her passive resistance according to Oregon law, the police were not allowed to arrest her for disobeying their orders. Even though Trooper Katzik attempted to issue threats and additional Corvallis police officers were involved, Hansen was eventually arrested and later released. This decision set an important precedent, emphasizing the need to differentiate between passive resistance and active interference in law enforcement. I have an opportunity at this moment to give me your identification and you can have a citation you can leave if you fail to do that i'm going to arrest you at this point do you understand what i'm saying you are going to arrest me yes. for not giving you information correct when i was asking why yes. you needed my information yes so i would like to get you to cooperate and give me your identification willingly if you refuse to do that you are under arrest and do you understand i would like to have some more clarification on there's this. not going to be more clarification i need a yes or a no from you. i need you to either give me your identification now or you're going to be placed under arrest which do you want to do i don't answer questions okay you're under arrest i don't answer questions stop 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 okay you're under arrest 831 send us more stop hey stop she's get young. back now she's not complying Okay, then roll onto your, your stomach. Hey, I will comply. I need both of you roll, to get off of roll. me. That's not going to happen. Roll I, on I your stomach. You roll, roll, roll. I need you to get off of roll me. Roll on your stomach. Stop. I need you. I'm not moving. Roll on your stomach. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. Get your hand behind your back. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. They say I'm resisting. I'm not moving. Just stay still. You're fine. Stay still. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm sorry to pull you into this. That's all right. I'll write you a sub. Uh, I'm a week behind, so okay. I'll right. get it to you as fast as I can. I understand. I still don't know who she is. I'm going to get my gloves on and dig in there. Yep. I don't know if there, there was a period of time where I thought maybe she was trying to you know, conceal her ID because she's somebody who's wanted, but now I'm just thinking she just doesn't believe in yeah. any kind of rules, apparently. You know? That's what I thought at first, too. Is After the incident involving a woman's arrest by the Oregon State Police, New information has come to light. The police arrested her for obstructing an officer's duties and resisting arrest, but surprisingly, they didn't charge her for the traffic violation after reviewing the recording. This incident drew widespread criticism regarding the police officer's handling of the situation. University President Ed Ray was so concerned that he threatened to terminate the school's long-standing contract with the state police, a contract that had been in place since the 1980s. Ray stated that unless the matter was resolved to OSU's satisfaction, they would reconsider continuing the contract with the Oregon State Police. In a subsequent statement by the United Academics of Oregon State University, it was revealed that on October 23, 2019, the university's president announced the termination of the contract with the Oregon State Police. The reasons for this decision were not explicitly stated. However, Mindy McCart, the communications director for the Oregon State Police, clarified that the decision was made based on the department's statewide obligations and concerns for the safety of their employees. Currently, there is no information available about any lawsuit related to this incident. Rest assured that if any updates become available, I will promptly provide you with the latest details. Thank you for watching, and before you leave, please take a moment to check out another video where the police were cleared of wrongdoing after detaining the wrong man. Join us in the fight against injustice. Subscribe, like, and share our video exposing the lack of transparency in corrupt policing, raising awareness and urging action against the unjust arrest of a black student for riding a bike. Be the change with us.